Uh, we just discussed about the core registers and memory model in the diagram. So let's delve a little deeper about them and see where we can find more information. A register uh, stores information that is uh, critical for executing instructions. It has the input data and it, it is a placeholder to store uh, the result. It is also used to store processor state, something like uh, you know, the, the program status register or the control, which uh, controls the different uh, configurations of the microcontroller. We also discussed about the memory model, so where uh, <coughs> the RAM, peripherals, devices are assigned a memory location so that the processor can interact with it. We can find more information about this on the programming manual, so let's take a look. So this is the programming STM32 programming manual, and here we see information about the core registers. So these are all the status registers, special registers, the stack pointers, <coughs> uh, the link register that is used uh, for uh, uh, referencing back to the called program, the program counter which stores the location of the, uh, the executing instruction and general purpose registers. And then we have this memory model which shows the memory map, the detailed uh, memory map. So let's pull that out here. Okay, so memory mapping. So this shows this is a, I'm in the data sheet now. So this shows where each information is or where each of the peripheral is located. For example, we can take, we can see that flash is uh, located somewhere here at address 0x0800000 uh, and SRAM is located at uh, 0x2000000. So, and then there are uh, <coughs> different addresses for different uh, peripherals and other systems. The detailed map is also present. The memory map is also here, which shows where what is. All the GPIOs are assigned uh, a specific address and like this. <coughs> 